Hi, my name is Paul Trenicky from Road Tech Aerosport. I'm here to talk a little bit about the nine cylinder R3600 and perhaps if we've got time, the seven cylinder 2800. The uh, concept of these engines is a bit of somewhat of a spin off from my earlier days as a model engineer. I was a, a keen into RC models and uh, developed uh, engines um, for that. Uh, for that uh, interest, and they just got bigger. And in, uh, in 1999, I came up with the uh, the idea of building a radial engine uh, for the home-built and experimental markets. And uh, and this is the result of it. Uh, this particular engine here was uh, first introduced in 2005. It's a 3.6 liter uh, uh, radial engine of, with nine cylinders and 150 horsepower. So that's 3,600 cc's and that's the designation the uh, 3600. It has a 3 to 2 planetary reduction in the nose so what that does is give us excellent torque so we're able to big, swing big propellers. Um, the sort of engine aircraft this engine would be typically fitted to would be you know a classic biplane or a, a World War One replica and these are antique style yesteryear type aircraft. Uh, when came, we came up with the concept uh, at Rotec Aerosport to build radial engines, at the time there was no small engines that were compatible with uh, those style of aircraft, so there's a real gap in the market. And uh, we love radial engines and so we thought uh, that um, you know, there could be an opportunity to produce an antique engine that would, uh, as I said, fill a gap in the market and uh, allow people to use World War I aircraft and biplanes and these, you know, as I said, uh, yesteryear aircraft with an engine like this. And so we developed two engines, the 2800 2.8 litre, uh, 110 horsepower engine and the 3.6 litre, nine cylinder, 150 horsepower engine. This engine was originally built for antique style aircraft and World War One and biplanes, but as it's turned out, it's gone into a myriad of aircraft that we could never have possibly imagined. The Kit Fox, the RV-8, Luscombe, Cessna 120s, Flybaby aircraft, just a, a myriad of aircraft that, that we wouldn't have anticipated or imagined would have had this engine fitted to it. So uh, I guess uh, it's like they say, if you build something, they'll use it, they'll come. And uh, that's what's pretty much happened. So it's, it's spun off from there. We've sold around 4,000 engines since 1999. And uh, as I said, this engine's very popular amongst even contemporary aircraft like the Kit Fox uh, Mark III right through to the current Mark VII, the Hats biplane, and as, a, as I said earlier, a myriad of, of aircraft. So um, yeah, here at the air show this particular week, we've got two tremendous aircraft. We've got a Hats biplane with a 3600, and we've got the first Kit Fox ever in the United States fitted with the, the larger R3600. A uh, Kit Fox would typically be fitted with the smaller 110, 100 and ho 110 horsepower R2800. But as I said, we've got a 3600 uh, powered Kit Fox here for the first time, which is uh, very interesting. The, the, the smaller 110 horsepower engine is, is, is akin to a, a radial version of an 0200. So it's about the same weight, same capacity, uh, sorry, same weight, same output as an 0200 which would be around about 100 to 110 horsepower. And the large 150 horsepower engine, the 3.6 litre engine, is about the same weight and size and power output as an O320, which, is a, which covers a broad range of, of, uh, of experimental aircraft. Um, so yeah, the 3.6 litre, 150 horsepower, it burns about seven gallons per hour. And um, yeah, so it produces about the same amount of performance, horsepower and installed weight as an O320. Both the 2800 and the 3600 are engines that are designed from the ground up. Uh, even though they look antique, being radial engines, they're actually very modern. So they use, they utilise uh, automotive componentry such as spark plugs, starter motor, alternator, ignition leads, ignition components, very various serviceable items, which makes them very affordable. Uh, unlike a traditional aircraft or certified aircraft engine, which are quite expensive uh, to maintain, these engines are just like maintaining an automotive engine. So they're an aircraft engine, but they're utilising automotive componentry to keep the cost down. And of course, being an experimental engine, they're not certified. The, the customer is able to, if they're capable, to service the engine themselves, which makes them, them very affordable. The engines run on avgas or uh, are configured so they can run on avgas or automotive fuel. Of course, being a, an uncertified engine, it's uh, the buyer or the user can do whatever they like, but we would recommend an overhaul of 2,000 hours between, between overhauls. And we recommend, uh, and, and uh, we have a service schedule so that every 25 hours, you would replace the oil filter and the oil regularly and do your general maintenance. We have a maintenance schedule. And the engine, as I said, would, would, would 
be torn down um, at around about 2,000 hours. But again, that's just our, our recommendation. Currently, we have running an air show special. So the 3600 engine, the larger one, the 150 horsepower, is currently at 19,900 as the base engine. That doesn't include all options, but that is the base engine. Uh, price and on the 2800, the uh, the cost of the 2800 is 16,500 US dollars. Uh, again, it's the base engine. It doesn't it doesn't include all options. Uh, with all options included, you're probably looking at closer to 23 on the nine cylinder and 19.9 on the seven cylinder. And you can find us at uh, a, we have a great website and you can get us at www.rotechradialengines.com.